The DeMar Hamlin injury, concern, and ultimate recovery has united sports fans, if even for just a brief moment. Some things are way bigger than football, and some things are way bigger than a game, and we're going to talk about that next. Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for hanging out today. Really, really do appreciate you. Quick, quick shout out to our friends over at Garden Gold as we get started today. If you're shopping for FSU gear, if you're looking for Noel swag or merch, athletic apparel, whatever you're in the market for, GardenGold.com. Use code NOSLAW. That's N-O-S-L-A-W. You save 15% on your order. If you order $75 or more, you get free shipping. They are the best when it comes to licensed FSU apparel. Shop with them today. You will not be disappointed. I want to preface this video just a little bit. And this is something different and something that I've struggled with going back and forth on if we should do or not. We are going to ultimately do this video. I just didn't want to do this video before knowing that DeMar was recovering back home and it looked like he would pull through. I had these thoughts about a week, week and a half ago when everything was going on. But I just wanted to make sure that he was getting better and we weren't profiting off of his sickness, his injury, or his passing if that had happened. So with that said, we're going to take some of the funds from this video, the revenue that this generates off YouTube, and we're going to give away some merchandise. We're going to give away those love for Namar shirts that he's posting on his social media as his way to give back. He's donating the proceeds to that from charity. So if you want to enter to win those, stay tuned. We'll tell you how to in just a couple of minutes. As DeMar Hamlin laid lifeless on the field several days ago, being resuscitated by first responders, the entire football and honestly sports world stopped. We watched as he's surrounded by both his teammates and teammates from the opposing team as both were crying and consoling each other. And as we watched it, it felt like time absolutely froze. Um, but it also reminded me of something, and I'll pull all this together here in just a minute, but it's something that Mike Norvell has always gotten right, and even was getting this right back in 2020 when both DeMars and Mike's paths crossed. Before I start and get into what Mike got right and how their paths crossed, I want to reach out to DeMar from the entire Knoll fan base and my family, let him know that he's in our prayers continued. I truly wish this young man a speedy recovery and was so grateful to hear talk of how he is healing. See him go back to Buffalo for more tests, I know. See him back closer to his family, and that's really encouraging for sure. Many FSU fans may not realize this, but you actually got to see DeMar Hamlin in person, if you went to Doak, in 2020 when, against Pittsburgh, he had an interception against James Blackman. Ironically, the reason Blackman was in on that drive was due to an injury to this year's starting quarterback, Jordan Travis. Blackman came in and on third down threw an interception. And though we were probably all pretty annoyed at that moment, it's kind of cool to look back and see. I showed it to my wife this morning and she said, that's actually pretty neat. And I'm glad that that happened. Again, wasn't happy in 2020. Pretty cool to see it looking back. Uh, here's what it reminded me. And you see Mike and, and DeMar's paths cross here uh, in 2020. Mike has always gotten this right. And there's things that he's gotten right on the football field and things that, you know, he hasn't gotten right on the football field. And there's things he's gotten right in recruiting. There's things he hasn't gotten right in recruiting. But what he's always gotten right is priorities. Mike has always preached family. He's always preached service. He's always preached humility. He's always preached gratitude. And those things are so much bigger than the game of football. I know we love football. I know you probably clicked on this video because you love football, but those things are so much bigger. And we're reminded of those things when tragedy like this strikes. It shouldn't have to take this kind of tragedy. It shouldn't have to take a near life or death situation, but oftentimes it does. I'm reminded when you talk about family, um, of the way that this team and this culture and this program fights for each other. I'm reminded when we think about service of things that Dylan Gibbons has done and things that Jordan Travis has done for others and things that really a lot of this team has done, whether they're working with Rise and Spear in the local community or whatever the situation is, serving others has been an absolute paramount theme of this program. And it really reminds you what is more important as we watch those Bills and Bengals players holding hands praying for their teammate. It showed the world how insignificant a game can truly be come instantly. 
It showed the world that Mike Norvell's principles are life skills that mean the most. Football will be here today. It'll be gone tomorrow. But what you carry on with you further is what's going to last. We told you about a chance to win a couple of those shirts, some swag from DeMar's website, uh, and his attempts to give back. We're going to try and support that. All you have to do to win that is just comment below. Comment on this video. Comment love for DeMar, praying for DeMar, whatever. We'll randomly pick a couple of people and get you guys out some swag on that. Again, want to do our part to give back. So thanks for watching the video and make sure you comment below. What Mike knows and what he preaches is what I just kind of alluded to. It doesn't take and it shouldn't take a tragedy to do the right thing. We all were united for moments and really the last couple of weeks cheering for not only DeMar, but a lot of people have been cheering for the Bills. You saw kind of what some of that energy and some of that passion led to in their game against the Patriots as they returned the opening kickoff back for a touchdown. Um, but it shouldn't take a tragedy like this for us to show each other love and kindness and doing the right thing and serving others and caring about people and being family. A lot of times it does. You think about like the great tragedies that have happened in this country or around you, and those are usually times we come together. But what if it didn't take those tragedies? What if we learned those life skills and we learned those priorities and it didn't take somebody having to be resuscitated on a football field for us to do it? I think this is what Mike preaches to his team. And I think this is what you hear when he talks about family and he talks about service and he talks about what truly matters, doing the right thing when nobody's watching, going above and beyond to help people. And it reminds us to do that in our own lives. Yeah, it's really important for football players. It's really important for these college athletes that we all cheer for. We want the best for them in life. We want the best for them once they're done playing football. But it's a reminder to us to take an inward look and make sure that we're waking up and doing the right thing every day. Caring about your family and your team more than yourself, putting others first, putting people in your community first, volunteering, helping those in need. It all reminded us what we saw the other night is really what we should all be doing. But I, I do want to say I had tip to Mike Norvell because I do think that those are the cultural building blocks of what he's doing. Why do you think Florida State's been so successful on the field? Because I truly do think they care about each other more than they care about the game of football. And they certainly care about the game of football, too. Big shout out to the players who put themselves in physical harm's way every day to, so that we can watch a sport that we enjoy. They take risks to their family and their health and everything else. But big shout out to them. And again, we're super happy that DeMar is recovering, getting better. We've obviously gotten great news on him. He's returned to Buffalo per his social media, and it sounds like they may be able to get him home soon. We also want to give back to the cause. Again, if you haven't already, comment below. Love for DeMar, prayers for DeMar, whatever you want to comment. We're all about that. We want to give the, re the revenue, the proceeds from this video to give back. We'll select some folks. We'll give you some merch. It all goes through his website. We appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Little reminder, try to be a good person today, this week, for as long as you can. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. A little bit different video today. We'll get back to some of the hardcore uh, heavy hidden football stuff soon, but thought this was important to do. Thought it was a good message to share. We appreciate you guys as always. Go Knowles.